I am an actor, uh, and I enjoy what I have to do in the theater, enjoy it very much. Um, I've had failures, of course, who hasn't? Um, hopefully, I've never been really dull at it. Um, but acting itself is not quite enough. And I don't want to direct because I feel that I would be too mani manipulative of people and force them into corners they didn't want to go and that kind of thing. So I'm much better off than working with my hands, working with materials, working at sculpture and that sort of thing where I can take the materials and say, this is what happens with them, you know. Um, so that those two things uh, which are fundamentally opposite sides. You see, uh, acting is um, ephemeral. It happens, bang, and it's gone. Uh, particularly, of course, on stage, because you have the moments of sort of great exhilaration and, and, and enormous concentration, but they go bing, 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 and then it's, next night it's a different audience. Uh, so it's a, a different performance because time is different, audience is different, all that kind of thing. So there is a difference. Um, with sculpture, it's a matter of um, the solving of um, problems in a much slower, more reflective manner. Um, ideas go in, grind round, and hopefully come out whenever they're ready to come out. And the kinds of problems that you're solving are, again, problems of relationships, but they are problems of um, physical, um, emotional, emotional directly from the physical type of um, problem that you have to solve. Uh, where on stage, it is immediate things happening between people. Yes, they are problems of relationships, certainly, but they're a different kind of relationship altogether because they're personality relationships and emotional relationships as a result of actions and words rather than forms and things that remain. Um, they are uh, relationships that come and go. Mm -hmm. Creatively, then, are they on the opposite side of each other for you, or are they very close? Is there any similarity? Um, well, they meet in the middle, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know that you can say that it's actually on the opposite side, but the process is different, that's all. Right. Because I understand you sketch on the empty pages of your scripts and that sort of oh, thing. Oh, yes, yes. Put I down am, ideas. You know, I'm afraid I'm always uh, scribbling on the backs of scripts, uh, ideas for sculpture all the time. Good, good. So maybe that's where they connect for you. Yes, yeah, that's, that's quite possible yeah. too. You know, because a lot of those ideas that I put down, the fundamental idea I may use in a sculpture, but you cannot, uh, there's no way in which I could follow a drawing slavishly and say that I was producing a decent piece of sculpture because if I did that, it was all finished with the drawing. There's no point in going on uh, if I'm, all I'm going to do is reproduce in three dimensions what I've already drawn. Mm -hmm. um, I will take the ideas from a lot of these, uh, from a series of drawings. And um, then when starting into the solid materials and putting it into three dimensions, it changes. And then you have to work with those changes because um, they dictate what the thing is ultimately going to be.